Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how we can make graph like this. In this graph, you can see we have a comparison of qPCR and transcriptomic relative expression. This graph we can also make using this SR plot and we know that this SR plot is a free web tool and is open for every researcher and scientist. So if you want to draw this type of graph, so you can simply go to this website and this website can be accessed through bioinformatics.com.cn. So if you will click on this, it will show you in the Chinese. So you can go here, you can write slash and write en, which stand for English. So here you can see that now the SR plot, all modules are visible in English. So if you want to compare qPCR and transcriptomic data, so you can simply write here PCR. So you can see here, here is one graph which can compare PCR and RNA-seq data. So after clicking this, you will have a module for PCR versus RNA-seq dual y-axis plot. And in this here, you can see we can input PCR data and here we can input RNA-seq data. Here is also one example of given data which can be input here. So let me show you how we can prepare data. So here is one Excel file. So let's suppose we have qPCR at uh, 0R, 4R, 12R and 24R. And let's suppose the relative expression at this level is 2, 2.5. And here is its standard deviation. Similarly for that any specific gene, the expression which we achieve through transcriptomic data is like 0R, 4R and 24R is. So we want to see whether the qPCR is validating the transcriptomic data or not. So we can simply copy paste all this information including their headers. And we can go here, we can paste the PCR data and here you can see we have qPCR data including the standard deviation. But make sure there is no space otherwise it will give an error. So next is actually the RNA-seq data. For RNA-seq data, maybe you don't need standard deviation because you can take the simply the average of all three technical repeats. So you can just copy this one and paste here. So now you can see here is the figure width and figure height. Similarly, you can label x-axis and y-axis. You can see here on the x-axis let's suppose we want to write qPCR and here let's suppose we want to write RNA-seq expression and uh, this is qPCR expression actually this is relative expression so here is the color if you want to change you can simply slide over to any color let's suppose for pcr you want this and for rna seq let's suppose you want this color and you can also select the font and for this we will select the arial and you can simply click on this submit button so here you can see now our qPCR and transcriptomic data graph is visible and we can simply click on this PNG SVG RTIF file. So here if we click on this PNG file so you can see a good quality graph is now downloaded and here you can see in this the transcriptomic data is almost showing the same trend except this at 0R. So if you have any question in the use of this, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.